What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Avengers Infinity War Doctor Strange. I did review Star-Lord in a previous video right before this one if you wanna check it out. I asked you guys if you guys wanted to see the review for Doctor Strange, you guys said yeah. So let's take a look at this fig because I really like it and I like it more than the Star-Lord. Quick look at the box. The front is very, very nice. It's way bigger than the Star-Lord packaging because it comes with more stuff. The side's very simple. Other side is simple too. And the back is some really cool product shots and the accessories that it's gonna come with. And yeah, that's for it for the box. Let's take a look at the actual figure. Alrighty, so out of the packaging, the figure is pretty dope, I gotta say. I only have one complaint and that is the cape. It's, uh, it's kinda clunky, but I mean, other than that, I really like the figure and I really like the accessories it comes with. Paint's good, sculpt's good. I like the, the head sculpt on it. Both of them are really good. And plus, he was a very, very awesome character in Avengers Infinity War. So I, I'm really happy to have the figure. And it comes with a bunch of accessories, a bunch of hands, spells, and everything. So let's get into all that. And then we'll take a closer look at the articulation. All right, guys. So he's going to come with two head sculpts. We got this one, which is a more like a relaxed Doctor Strange. And then he comes with a more angry face one. But taking a quick look at this one, I feel like the, <clears throat> I feel like the eyes look a little better in person. Um, on the camera, they kind of look kind of beady, but... Um, it looks good. Facial hair is on point, everything. Nice gray in the hair, and then it's, it, it kind of fades out through the back. Which is cool. Yeah, this one looks good. This is the other one. Real easy switch, just like the Star-Lord. This one's like a little more angry. Here's a side-by-side. -side. Yeah, you can tell right there. And hair is pretty much the same thing. And it comes with a bunch of hands, so let's take a look at all the pairs of hands he comes with. Alright, so it comes with a pair of open palm hands. Maybe like a spell hand or something like that. And it comes with a pair of open palm hands, more relaxed hands. We get a pair of fisted hands. And then we get these like kind of crazy spell hands, which look good. And get them in some spell poses. So you know how I said these were the relaxed hands? I'm thinking these are the more relaxed hands, more closed. So it comes with a pair of these as well. These are more probably for walking. These are these are kind of like gesture hands. I'm not sure. But I like the uh, the amount of options we get. It's really nice. So And we get a pair of these hands we have, which have little um like little inserts. So you could um plug in the spell. And let me show you the spells that it comes with. Alrighty. So we get two of these, which look good. Orange and nice. But on this side, it's a little bit more faded. But the orange side looks great. So all you have to do is plug it in. And you can get them holding the spell. Let me focus that. Yeah, so that's really cool. So the spells look great on Doctor Strange. And these are two of the accessories he comes with. He comes with two more other accessories that are very awesome. Like a Time Stone spell, which looks very cool too. Like this one's faded on this side too. Let me move him out of the side real quick. And last but not least, we get this very cool portal effect. Which is like a big um, plastic circle and it comes with these two clips so that you could uh, insert this at the bottom so it could stand up you can place them like he just uh, stepped out of a portal which is really awesome so yeah these are the accessories a bunch of hands a bunch of spells very awesome all right guys so let's get into the articulation so the head he can look up this much um i would have liked a little bit more from that but he can bury his head into his chest uh, maybe it won't rotate 360 degrees. I don't know if you why would you want to but um, it's kind of limited by the collar But you would get good pivot That's good right there for your motion. So let's talk about this cape real quick. I Mean I like the design of it. Maybe a cloth cape would have looked really good on this But I mean we got it kind of like a clunky three-piece cape, which is all right. I mean um, It does have articulation so you can go up like that Maybe you can get into some like flying poses or something, like coming down or something. They all move by themselves individually. Same with this side, and yeah. So it's kind of clunky when you're trying to pose it around, but uh, you can do some really cool stuff with it. And then the, the detail on it is pretty good too. You get this nice texture right here, and we get these lines. So it looks good. The arms can move up this much. Yeah, like around there. You get a 360 swivel right there. We get a little bit better elbow articulation than the Star Lord on this one. A little bit more than 90, which looks good. Double jointed elbows. And we get the cool little nice wraps right here, which is nice. The whole figure is like a like a navy blue color. 
with some light blue, which looks awesome. Then we get a 360 swivel right there, and you get a hinge right there. I have Agamotto, it looks very nice, detail is great, especially this belt, a bunch of different colors and silver on the buckles and stuff, looks really good. Looking at it from the back side too, it looks great. You get a 360, which is nice, and then you could crunch forward that much, and crunch back around right there. This skirt doesn't really hinder the leg articulation. It's not super soft where it's like flimsy. It's like, uh, you guys get what I'm saying. So it comes with the skirt and then a skirt under that. So you can kick forward around right there, like 90 degrees. You can kick back pretty good as well. Double jointed knees. Very cool detail on the boots right here. Fully laced and everything. And at the boot, you get a, a little swivel. It doesn't go 360, it goes around that much. You can kick up that much and then kick down not really anything because it came off on my figure right now and you get a toe articulation yeah so articulation is pretty uh, pretty good on this figure even if it doesn't look like the most articulated figure it looks pretty good here he is compared to the other figure that I reviewed recently the Star Lord figure from the same I guess wave from the same Avengers Infinity War movie set they look really good together I like how these scale so uh, let me compare it to the Marvel Legends one real quick here he is compared to the Marvel Legends one, how I had him pose on the shelf. Let me remove this real quick. Whoa, his hand came off. But yeah, you can definitely tell the scale difference here and then the head scroll, man. Uh, this is before Hasbro started using the photo tech. That looks pretty cool. Okay guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for this review. So if you were a fan of Doctor Strange and you'd really like the movie, I suggest you pick this figure up right now. You get a lot out of this figure, a lot of accessories, uh, way more than the Star Lord. So I'd suggest pick this one up. The thing that really sold me on the figure was the effects and uh, I fell in love with the effects so I had to get the figure and I'm really happy I did. Didn't really have too much problems with this figure, I'm not a humongous uh, figure critic but I just wanted to give you guys a quick opinion and insight on the figure. Well guys I'm going to end the video right here, thank you guys so much for watching. I did pick this up at Toyco, shoptoyco.com for my buddy Andrew if you were interested, I'll leave a link down below. But yeah thank you so much for watching, I had a lot of fun posing this guy right now, hopefully you were enjoying the quick little insight reviews. And as always, thank you for the support on the channel, guys. Hopefully you're having a great weekend, and I'll catch you guys next time. Later, guys. That's crispy.